Calvin Kenny knows most people won't want to believe him, but he swears it's true. He says for four months straight, he spent 20 to 22 hours out of every day in a place his fellow prisoners call the hole. No visits, no calls. You know, you're in lockdown 24 seven and there's nothing you can do to, to elevate, alleviate the feeling of hopelessness. He craved to breathe fresh air again. Our wrongs don't justify their wrongs, just as their wrongs don't justify ours, you know? But there's gotta be another approach to solve these issues. On top of that, Kenny says stuck in the cells beside him were shattered inmates, racked with mental illness. I'm living with these people in the show and they don't understand how to clean yourself. You know, they don't understand how to ask for help and they don't understand if what's being done to them is right or wrong. They don't understand how to contest it or question it, you know? But who's going to believe a man who has admitted to killing someone? Calvin Kenny was first sent to Her Majesty's Penitentiary when he was 21, convicted of trafficking cocaine. Things didn't get better from there. Here he is acting as the muscle during a violent infamous prison riot in 2014. And even worse, this. Three men are arrested and charged for murder. There has been another dramatic day on the justice front. The second accused is 26-year-old Calvin Kenny. The charges include first-degree murder for the death of Stephen Miller, forcible confinement, robbery, and arson. Today, he's not talking about that. He's pleaded guilty to manslaughter, and while he awaits sentencing, Kenny is revealing what he says is mistreatment inside HMP in the special handling unit, or the SHU. The SHU is the prison within the prison. That's what it's what a place, Grishy says, where inmates go when there's nowhere else for them. Often a risk to themselves or others, he says people in the SHU can be easily forgotten. And in the context of Her Majesty's Penitentiary, to give people some insight, I mean, you can't even turn the lights off. People are under fluorescent light 24-7. Yeah, uh, all kinds of issues are unfolding. Uh, people, it is what people would think of as solitary confinement. While I was housing segregation in other prisons, this is why I know better now, to give you a reason why you're there. You're there for X reason. This is what you got to do to get out. This is what you got to work towards. Now, I was in that show. I got about 11 to 12 months done in that show. While there, I have never, ever been given one reason why I was there. Kenny says he recently was allowed up in general population, but he says being trapped with mentally ill inmates oblivious to the world around them disgusted him. Grushy has represented some of those people. You can't put a social animal in a box with lights on 24-7 and expect anything good to come of it. It's not a Newfoundland-only problem. There's been movement on a federal level to strengthen laws so that inmates aren't forgotten in the SHU or solitary confinement. We know that in many provincial and territorial jails and local lockups, uh, often because of more limited staff or increasing numbers, prisoners are sometimes held for 24 hours a day, which not only it contravenes our Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, but also international standards. The Human Rights Commission of NL wrote the Justice Minister in August, expressing its concern over where mentally ill and intellectually disabled inmates were being held. It said it received numerous complaints and said it was gravely concerned that those inmates may not be receiving the treatment they need and worse, are being subjected to long periods of segregation in crowded and unsafe inhumane conditions. As for Calvin Kenny's case, the Department of Justice and Public Safety said they couldn't comment, citing privacy and security concerns. But it says there are two psychiatrists, a psychologist, two nurses and a nurse practitioner on staff. Officials say the Canadian Mental Health Association does offer programs at HMP and that if an inmate has a concern and wants to go over the superintendent, they can contact the citizen's representative. Calvin Kenny will soon head to a federal prison for what he's done. And I've messed up big time. I got my life messed up beyond recognition. You know, I got to fix it, but I got to do the time that's handed to me and that's it. And he says he'll come out a better man there than if he stayed in St. John's. You're someone who's in here because someone died. Yeah. Uh, you have a violent history. What do you say to people who are going to say, I have, no, I have no sympathy for you? Well, of course you don't, but they got to realize that 90 plus percent of the inmates in Canada's prisons are going to be released back into the public. So do they think that severe punishment in prison is going to help their behavior when they get out? You know what I mean? It's not. Ariana Kelland, CBC News, St. John's.